coordinator? I wouldn't say it's going to change tremendously. Of course, there's going to be a new head at, at center, but that's just something that they always prepare for. They always got great depth at O-line, great depth at every position. And that's just Georgia. They're going to be good with the without. Who are some of the guys that are that were behind you, Lamont, that, that, that could take your job next season? Uh, I'm sure Trey Hill, if he's in. Um, Trey Hill, definitely. He's a great guy. And he's somebody that looked up to me and somebody that I had to teach along the way, playing beside me and playing behind me. You mentioned uh, your, your offensive line coach and have he gotten you uh, it's just something that switched over? Give us a little bit more about how he got you uh, definitely just, just talking, mentoring, talking to me, uh, getting my technique and everything right, telling me the, the ins and outs, uh, definitely teaching my rights and wrongs, a lot of my wrongs, the mistakes that I made, and just fixing those and being better in myself. It definitely helped out. Well, in other words, what's it like being under Sam Pittman, you know, for the, the years that you've been? Uh, it's a blessing, honestly. He's one of the great O-line coaches in the game, in the, in the league right now. He's definitely helped me follow my dreams, helped me get, get the opportunity that I had. And I just appreciate him for that. Have any of the uh, teams you've talked to mentioned him or you mentioned him to them? Oh, yeah, they're going to mention him to me. They've heard of him, of course. And somebody that you really know the name already, so it's just somebody that you just chime off of and just say what you have to say and give your opinion on him. Uh, definitely all of them, really. Um, but uh, the Lions has definitely sat me down and talked to me and ran through a lot of plays. And, and definitely it helped me learn the system, uh, what different teams, because each team has a different system. But just to see the system that they was throwing at me, it was pretty cool. Yeah, I spoke with the Chiefs also. They're a big team. Uh, I actually have a guy from there that uh, – who was at Georgia? Uh, um, so, uh, but, uh, like said, yeah, he's somebody that's somebody up to them. He's to talk to him. Uh, to Mount, what'd you get out of the East West Shrine game? Uh, the system of what's going to be like in the league, uh, just the change of it. Uh, I is based like first you have the collegiate level, and then they bless you with the NFL level, what's about to happen in that level. But they teach you a lot, get you ready and prepared for that for the league. So much, you talk about um, helping you guys, Joe Moore Awards for the offensive uh, line. I know you guys the most important teams uh, there. And then also, uh, Sam Pittman as a line coach, how you think he's prepared you, you know, for this step in your, in your career? Um, I go both, both of them. He prepares to, to always achieve what we want to achieve, and our goal was to go and try to win the Joe Moore Award. That just makes you a better offensive line when you have a goal to pursue. And he, that's what he does all the time. He gives you a goal that you want to pursue. He makes you a confident player. Yeah, that would be good. Try to strive when you get attacker. Tell me what you, what you saw. Yeah, you guys struggled like uh, three years ago on the O-line, and then all of a sudden it was very strong two years ago. Produced some first round draft picks. Uh, what did you see from that team and how you can improve on that? Uh, so uh, uh, just to change that we learned the system. I feel like uh, we definitely Smart came in and definitely set up like a soft down and, and laid out a uh, perfect uh, example of what we need to stand for what we need to carry right now. And just from Coach Bill who came in, he just came and set the, the league in the offensive line. He already had great offensive line before and great offensive linemen who came in the league. So it's just about pursuing and putting more on. I would love that. You talk about your game against Mac Wilson in the championship game. You got into him early. Talk about setting the tone. What it means to you to set the tone early. Uh, definitely got to set the tone. I did it against LSU, against White, and did it against him. You got to go get, go at the stronger players on the team. It's like go at Quinn and You got to set the tone and lay them out at the time. So you know that there. And that's just going to help you individually. Uh, that is, you know that teams are uh, looking at the team. That's what I had to do. Lamont, is, it, is, there, is there a mental hurdle? From a, for Alabama, I know that Georgia hadn't had much success against Florida, and now you've taken that robbery over. Is it just kind of a mental hurdle to clear against Alabama, do you think? Uh, not too much mental. You just got to get over the name. Uh, like just go and play your ball, finish just, all four quarters, like the standard you're supposed to carry. Uh, we didn't do that the past, past few years, but I'm sure they'll definitely do that in the future. You made the decision to play in the Sugar Bowl, even though you knew you were an NFL prospect. I know Ledbetter did too. What made you decide to play in the game where maybe other people decided not to play in their bowl games? 
Uh, just to finish with my team. Uh, you're not greater than the team, so I just wanted to finish with my team and let them know that I'm here for them. I'm not going to let them hold on. They've been looking at me to me the whole year, so why would I let them down at the, at the finish of it, even though we didn't make it to the playoffs? You still got to finish with your team. Was there an issue with focus? I mean, I know there was some disappointment in the selection committee, but it didn't look like the same Georgia that we saw against Alabama. Definitely. Uh, of course, there was disappointment. Guys thought we should have been there, but at the end of the day, we had a job to do. We didn't finish our job. Uh, I just got a little too big. It was definitely to finish off fourth quarter. Of course, hit him first and come off strong. We did it the year before, and just like I said, you just got to finish the whole four quarters. Uh, he got a great motor. He's going to attack him. Uh, he's consistent. Uh, he's a big person. A strong player. Uh, I can't wait for him to Just Do what I have to do. Do my job. Because if I do my job, I know my whole line will be good. And that's what I did. I came out already. Here. I watched them. I followed them on film just to make sure. Because in this case, we went up against them. That I know what I was facing. And I had to do that. Lamont, when did you see Jordan Davis start to turn a corner? And what do you think is ahead for him at Georgia? He has a bright future. He's a strong guy, big guy. He can come out with the ball. He got moves on him. Just haven't seen yet. But he's definitely going to be a guy to, to look at in the future. Uh, definitely a guy that you need to focus on. Because he's, he can bring it out at any time. He started when he was in camp. I had to go up against him. He helped me through practice. And I had to face big guys. So it was definitely a, a, a blessing when he came on the team. How much did he improve from the beginning when you started going against him to when we saw him in November? Uh, a lot, uh, definitely a lot. Uh, at first, he was a little shaky. Of course, that's the freshman age. But once he started getting comfortable and, and the coaches started teaching him the right things, he definitely got comfortable in his game. He de definitely showed out on the team when he had to. A lot of people thought you were the best center in the SEC. Your draft grade may not be as high as other centers. What are they telling you that you've got to get better at? What do you hope to prove here at the Combine this week? I definitely think I am the best SEC center there is that played in, in SEC for now. But I definitely got to get better at being consistent. Um, just my consistency, consistency, and that's probably it, to be honest. But that's definitely something I can show tomorrow when we go and do all these drills and show them my athleticism, show how I can move my hips and everything. How'd you lift today, or did you lift? Oh, I didn't lift today. I'll, I'll do it at my pro day. You guys use a lot of zone schemes at Georgia. How much did that help prepare you to play at the next level? Uh, definitely a lot. Uh, like I said, Georgia definitely sets an example in the standard where you have to play. Um, they map out how you're going to play in the league. And, you know, this is the SEC. You got to be prepared for a lot of things. Understand that you know, snap and everything. What they do at Georgia is definitely something that you can be ready for in the league. How much do you like getting to show your athleticism as far as like, you get the chance to fool, uh, go out there, you know, those type of things? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what I like to do a lot. Uh, we didn't do much in this game, but my, third, my first year, we was like guard. That's when they definitely did a lot of the pull scheme. We had the plays. That we did a lot of zone. That it didn't, if it works, why well, try anything different? But I can definitely move. I'm a guy that can move, and I show it. Football is generally like a sport. You just act on, on your thoughts. Just, you just do it, right? Yeah. But as a center, uh, you have to know what everybody's doing, a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking. How do you go about doing that but still playing fast? Just a lot of preparation and getting my mind ready for it. Uh, when we, for me, I like to prepare myself before everything even comes, see everything before it even comes. So as a center, that's what I like to do, um, just to get preparation and be prepared for everything. Where have you been preparing for? Tom Shaw in Orlando. What, what do you need to show while you're here? Uh, definitely my athleticism that I can uh, run. I got a good hip movement, good ankle flexion. That's about it. Coach Belichick has said that uh, players coming out of Georgia are ready for the NFL. Have, have you, have you, the Georgia people are really excited about that. Uh, why? Uh, I definitely agree. Just because, like I said, the SEC, um, Georgia definitely teaches things to prepare you for that level. It definitely gets your mind ready and your body ready for that type of level when you get there. Um, they bring out a lot of guys, they produce a lot of guys, and it's just about how they recruit. Uh, they do, do a lot of great things recruiting-wise, and that's about it. Did you watch other centers in not really. I try to focus on myself. I don't really try to focus on too many other players. Of course, I, I've heard the, the, 
great things. Yeah, he's doing some, some great things. Yeah. 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 Yeah.